Hollywood. Hollywood? Hollywood's just a state of mind. We're not gonna take you to Hollywood. We're not gonna take you to heaven. We're not even gonna take you to hell. We're gonna make you one of us. This for a little while.
No! Cambodia? There hasn't been a vampire sighting in Cambodia since. Well, not ever, I don't think. You know, Asian vampires are notoriously rare. Oriental families really discourage that kind of thing. All right, they all become engineers. Mr. McGavin, they're here. Well, it's about time that you told that peach over an hour ago. No, Marcus and Jacob, the dark ones, they broke through the gate again. I can feel them. You sure? Have you forgotten so soon? I used to be one of the dead ones. I used to be running around at night looking for helpless victims, drinking their sweet blood. That was before I went into rehab, of course. Well, that took a lot of guts, Nina. You know, most recovering vampires never make it all the way back. Well, you know, there's more to a vampire than an addiction. It's a lifestyle. Well, call me old-fashioned. I just don't understand the appeal. It's the dark side. Nonsense. It's a matter of self-control, self-discipline, respect for the American way of life. You know, meat and potatoes, steak well done, apple pie. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the war for the human soul. I'm talking about forces fighting against heaven and hell every time you fucking move. I'm talking about the potential we all have for evil. It's getting kind of heavy in here. Well, you know what it's like? To just wake up in the morning and you just want to slaughter your whole family and you just want to wipe everybody out just like that. Snap. And everybody in the house is dead. That's what it's like. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you're glad I'm cured, huh? Well, I'm talking about this philosophy. Because these bloodsuckers are back on Earth where I can get to them. And with your help, Nina, we can find these scraggly hellraisers. Yeah. I can see them, Marcus, Jacob, the others. Who's in the streets? The neon lights searching for helpless victims. Soft, warm, pulsating throats in the dark. Come on, Nina. Get hold of yourself. Snap out of it. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I lost it there for a minute. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I just could fucking kill. I, I would just. I need a drink. I need a drink now. Okay. What do you have? Blood. I ain't Bloody Mary. Just give me Bloody Mary. <laughs> How about it? Alright. Well, they're out there somewhere. They're in the city. They're just waiting for us. And we can't get them. Mr. McGavin. Yeah.
but I could sure take off a leg or two. I'd just like to go through eternity like that. How was your trip out of hell? <laughs> Last few hundred miles were dark, as usual. Have any problems passing through the gate? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Had to kick the gatekeeper's ass. <laughs> I paid him off. I lost a good soul or three on that one. Yeah, well, you better get your barter back. Listen, Alexander, I have to talk to you. No, 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 you listen, Lucas. I went down there to hell. I did the job, and it was a lot tougher than we ever bargained for. Now it's time for you to pay up. It's not that simple, Alexander. Yes, it is that simple, Lucas. You see, I brought these demons out of hell. Yeah, I heard about that, down under. Traded in a few dozen good souls for them, didn't you? Yeah, but... No, 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 no buts, man. It's time to pay up. Now pay up. But you don't understand. I brought them out, and now they won't go back. <laughs> won't go back, huh? Want me to send them back? What's in it for me? You know a few of them. One in particular. Princess Di. And so? And so, you can have her. Oh, great, yeah, just what I want. Another bitch from hell. Look, Alexander, I can't control them. <laughs> the mighty Lucas can't control someone? Name your price, Alexander. This place. My castle. You called it. Now pay or play. All right. If you pull it off. If? <laughs> you know, I thought you guys were cool. You're weird. What do you want from me? What sex? <laughs> sex? <laughs> We're a thousand years beyond sex. And I thought we were just gonna go for drinks. We are. <laughs> you know, Jacob, I don't know why you're hanging around with these guys. They can really get you into a lot of trouble. What are you talking about? You're not so holy. I'm glad you're not so holy, Jacob. You gotta be careful, man. A lot of heavy shit's gonna come down. You didn't mean what you said down there, I know. Yes. As a matter of fact, I did. Our love was real. I felt it. You're dreaming. I've never loved anyone like I love you. Oh yeah? What about Lucifer? He didn't mean anything. Yeah. You're right.
sword over there? Yeah, I don't like anyone messing with it. Don't you have any respect for this holy place of peace and rest? Died young if you know what I mean. <laughs>
宇宙のバランスが崩れています善と悪は戦っているんです刀とアレキサンダーと二人が力を合わせて戦わなくてはいけませんtalk to you. About what? Your friend, Alexander. What about my friend, Alexander? He's not one of us. What makes you think he's not one of us? He's drank blood with the best of us. <laughs> that was in hell, Marcus. He's never drunk blood on Earth. Have you seen him? He's my friend. That means nothing. You don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, no. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. No, you don't. Marcus, you, you don't, don't know. know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what you're talking He's about. He's human. No, I don't want to talk about it. Because you don't know what you're talking about. You must be out of your mind. He's my friend. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I think that he's one of us. Well, I know okay? he's and not. That's how I feel, and I don't want to talk about it anymore, all right?
Somebody's got to keep those soles in there. Sir Katana, Alexander, Alex, glad to see you. Hey, Lucas, uh, just on my way to your place. Pick up the new keys to my crib. Well, Alexander, I think there's a few areas of the contract we haven't discussed yet. Yeah? What are they? Like, I don't think you're gonna live long enough to take possession of my property. What? I got a few friends here I think you'll remember. I never did like you guys. Alexander, I thought the vampires would get you. And Katana, I thought McGavin had you, but... No, I don't know. I, I bet and I gambled and I was wrong. Now my boys will have to take care of you. Guess we're not gonna need these. Take care of that for me. Well, Lucas, looks like it's all over. Uh, gotta hand me the keys, if you please. Katana! Oops. <laughs> well, is it over yet? Yeah, it's finally over. About time, man.